It's 24-7, so um, there, some people come in um, around the 3 o'clock hour, some people, and summer's a little busier than normal, so it really depends on our production schedule. If we have a lot, you know, you just have to bump it up a little earlier, come in a little sooner, start a little, you know, get ahead of the game. There are 24 eggs. I'm scaling for the lemon curd that I just mentioned. Um, so I'll just show you a little bit of how I crack my eggs and get into a little bit of a rhythm. I have these pre-scaled already um, to 24. So I'll just do two kind of a... That's a professional. There you go. One good crack. Perfect. All right. I'll use this hand to pick up the next egg. Not a shell in sight. Okay, in sight. I'm a Michigan native. I actually grew up in the Upper Peninsula, but uh, my family relocated to um, the Allegan area, and you know, sooner or later we just thought, thought let's get married in Michigan. And Pepe's actually my husband. We actually met um, at a bread bakery in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, many, many years ago. Um, and just both, it's just followed us through um, to where we are today. Great. And here we are. We have two daughters and we're very happy to be back. So everything always brings you home, right? So you heard about Bitter Swiss and you? Yeah, we were actually looking at artisan bakeries in the Michigan area before we moved back. And um, Tim's name with Bitter Swiss popped right up. He had just recently won the Coupe de Mon in France. So um, that was a really, you know, green light for us to look into that. And immediately we got in contact with each other and the rest is history. Um, the clock outside is stuck for any particular um, reference or time. I think at one time, a very short period of time, the clock did work and it stopped one day and we've had some people look at it and try to get it, but it's just become a thing now. My grandma always brought me here when I was little and we always got this cake for my birthday and it's so good and it's just really nice to hear uh, the different generations now, you know, getting passed on to us as, as newer bakers here from the original. The same wonderful products are being made, the original pastries are being made. Nothing has changed and I think people really feel good about that. It's kind of like a, a hug every time you come in here. Mm -hmm.